Dear viewers, welcome back to another video from Blood Bank section. Today we will discuss about RH blood group system for medical laboratory examination purposes. There are two genes RHD and RHCE which both are present on chromosome number 1. These two genes code for different RH proteins. Antigens of RH system. There are five antigens D, C, E, small c and small e. In our routine testing in blood banking, we only test the D antigen. D type is determined by the presence or absence of RHD. If the RHD protein is present, this is known as Rh positive. And if the RHD is absent, this is known as Rh negative. Rh genotypes. Capital D in homozygous and heterozygous denotes presence of D antigen. In Rh negative persons, there is no capital D gene. Other genes RHCE code for both capital C and small c and capital E and small e. They are antithetical which means can have both. If capital C is present, small c will be absent. If small c is present, capital C will be absent. And the same for capital E and small e proteins. RHD negative phenotypes. In Caucasians population, the RHD is negative due to the deletion of RHD gene. In African population, the RHD phenotype is due to the point mutation of RHD gene. In Asian, the RHD is negative due to the inactivation of RHD gene. RH null phenotype. There is no D, C, E, small c and small e antigens on red blood cell membrane. This cause hemolytic anemia as these RH proteins or antigens are the integral part of red cell membrane. D typing. D is the most immunogenic of all blood group system. D typing is based on presence or absence of D antigen when tested with anti D. Weak D. Weak D is reactive only at antiglobin phase. For validation, there must be a negative control parallelly run. As in this picture, you are noticing that there are fewer D antigens on weak D as compared to the conventional D which expressing sufficient D antigen. This low number of D antigen on weak D RBC make them unable to form a lattice formation that is why we use anti-human globin phase testing. Weak D as a donor will be considered as Rh positive and weak D as a recipient will receive only Rh negative red blood cells. Testing of weak D is required for all Rh negative individual for the prevention of allo immunization against Rh antigens. When to perform when NTD and RH control are negative in RH typing of donor or infant of mother being evaluated for RHIG RH immune globulin. Method incubate RH typing tubes at 37 Celsius for 15 to 60 minutes and carry through anti-human globin pace. Separate D control is not required, not needed for A, B, R, O positive cells. If we look into this table for A RH positive, no control is required. Similarly, for B RH positive and O RH positive, no control is required. But for AB positive, RH control is required. Why this RH control is required for AB RH positive? Because as there is no negative reaction to exclude false positive reaction due to the Rolex formation or false direct antiglobin test. Any negative typing reaction serve as a control, for example, negative reaction with NTA or NTB, but when there is a reaction with all antisera, for example, in AB positive blood group, run control is recommended by manufacturer. We usually test the patient or donor red blood cells with uh, autologous serum or 6 to 8 percent of albumin. Interpretation of RH typing. If there is a reaction with NTD and RH control is negative, RH type will be positive. If there is no reaction with NTD and RH control 
is also negative, the RH type is negative. If there is a reaction in both with NTD and RH controlled, test is invalid. Now look for any problem which causing this issue. RH control should be negative always. Causes of false RH typing result. False positive is due to warm or cold autoagglutinins, rulex formation, polyagglutinable RBCs, non-specific agglutination due to the ingredient in reagents such as dye or preservative, contaminated or incorrect reagents, false negative, failure to add reagents, RBC suspension is too heavy, resuspending cell button too vigorously, contaminated or incorrect reagents, blocking up antigen sites by antibodies, for example, in severe hemolytic disease of the fetus and newborn due to the NTD. Let's break down the Fisher and Wiener terminologies. Before moving on, let's see an example. Sometime in blood bank section during exam, we face this type of question. What will be the matching corresponding cells to R1, R2? Option A, B, C and D. So how we will solve it? Let's break down the Fisher and Wiener terminologies. There are some rules for both of these terminologies. Like for the Fisher terminology rules, rules number 1. Upper case letter is denoting the presence of antigen. For example, capital D. C and E mean that D is present and capital and small C and small E are absent. Rule number two for the Fisher terminology, lower case letter is denoting the absence of integer. Winner terminology, rule number one, capital R represents the presence of D antigen. Rule number two, small r represents the absence of D antigen. Rule number three, the presence of capital C antigen is represented by 1 when RH is positive. When RH is negative, it will be represented by 1 prime. Rule number 4. The presence of E antigen is denoted by 2 for RH positive antigen. When RH is negative, it will be represented by double prime. Rule number 5. The presence of both C and E antigen are represented by Z in RH positive and Y for RH negative. Rule number 6. The absence of both C and E antigen is denoted by 0 in RH positive and by nothing in RH negative. Let's start the Fisher terminology. As we noted in rule number 1, for Fisher terminology, that uppercase or capital letter denotes the presence of antigen. So in this first case, D is present as capital D is present. And small c and e are absent as these are written in small letters. In second case, D and c are present as both are in capital letters. And small e is absent. In third case, D is present C is absent and E is present. In fourth number case, all D, C and E are present as all are written in capital letters. The RH positive is mentioned in green color due to the fact that if we look to all cases, capital D is present and as we discussed earlier, if capital D is present, its mean RH is positive. Going down in Fisher terminology, in case number 1, there is a small d, c and e. It's mean all three are absent. As here again, Rh negative is mentioned due to the fact that all four cases contain small d. So this is why Rh negative is mentioned. And in second case, small d capital C and small e. So C is present and both small d and e are absent. In case number 3, only e is present. Last case, d is absent and C and e are present. Now come to the Wiener terminology as it is a little bit difficult. As you talk in rule number 1 of Wiener terminology that big R denotes the D antigen mean when RH is positive and in rule number 6, 
we mentioned that the absence of both C and E will be noted by 0 and RH positive. So here R is for big D and 0 for small c and e. In case number 2 again big R is D is present and in rule number 2 a winner terminology which said that big C will be represented by 1. In case number 3 again big R is D is present in, and in rule number 4 it is stated that capital E will be represented by number 2. And in case number 4 again big R as D is present and in rule number 5 we state that if both capital C and capital E are present it will be denoted by Z. Now come to the RH negative cases. In case number 1 small d, small c and small e are mentioned it means that RBC not contain any of the antigen. So small d is here and it means d is absent so it will be denoted by small r as mentioned in rule number 2 of Wiener terminology. And when small c and small e are absent in RH negative cell it will be denoted by nothing as stated in rule number 6. In this case small d is absent capital C mean present and small e mean absent. So small r for small d and 1 prime for capital C as stated in rule number 3. Again small d is represented by small r. Both small d and c are absent and capital E is present so it is denoted by double prime as stated in rule number 4. In last case d is absent so small r is denoted. Both capital C and E are present and as RH is negative, so as per rule number 6, capital C and E will be represented by Y in RH negative cells. Let's now come back to the questions. So if we here look into the questions, so what will be the matching corresponding cell to R1 and R2? As now we learn that R represents the capital D and the 1 represent the capital C and the 2 represent the capital E. So here in rule uh, in option number A there is a capital D but no capital C and E so option A is not correct. If we look into option number B uh, so there is a small d so the option number 2 is also incorrect. But if we look into option number C, R represents the capital D, 1 represents the capital C, again R represents the capital uh, D and 2 represents the capital E. So option C is correct. RH genotype distribution invites R1 population is more than small r. Small r is more than R2 and R2 is more than R0. So most frequent genotype in white is R1 and least frequent is R0. In blacks, R0 is the most frequent and R2 is least frequent. Be remember, small r always come in second number in both population. RH antibodies, they are IgG in nature, clinically significant cause extravascular hemolysis may agglutinate at 37 celsius as well as at anti-human globin pace. Anti-CCEE react stronger when cells are treated with enzymes as these antigens get enhanced with enzyme actions.